our favorite segments in the week, Fugitive Friday or Florida Weekly. I don't know, you can't put me on the spot you... like that with Eric standing right there. <laughs> Florida Weekly. Florida Weekly. <laughs> of course. Our buddy, our friend Eric Raditz, who's the presentation editor of the fantastic publication, is here in studio. And we have our own very own copy here, which you can pick up for free. That's the beauty of Florida Weekly. Did you design this cover? I did. Builders beware. Mm -hmm. You're talking about the real estate industry and kind of giving people some insider knowledge. True. And one thing that we'd all like to do is to predict the markets, especially the real estate market. And oftentimes it is totally unpredictable. Anyone's guess, right, of course. But there are experts who are determining quite a bit based upon several indicators. And we got some really interesting information from market trends and experts in the field regarding what to expect. And there are several things you're looking at, including yearly residential permits, interest rates, cost and construction materials, for example. And not giving you anything, anything mm -hmm. here. We're not heading for any sort of depression or big bubble recession, they're saying. But it, it does appear there is a correction that's either underway and or on its way. Uh, read more about these details if you want to take a look at uh, Builders Beware. Okay, and this week your, your edition is a little thicker than it usually is, and that's because you guys got this nifty little guide in there. It's so cool. It's like Newcomers. a free magazine in Florida Weekly this week. It's called Newcomers. So, okay, what's well, in there? So let's say you're new to town, not sure what to do. Uh, this is a fun little magazine. Or if you're in town and look for things to do, pointers, uh, places to eat, visit, signature events coming up through the year, sporting events, state parks to visit, where to shop, where to golf, artistic venues, much, much more, Lee, Collier, and Charlotte counties. This is a free little magazine in all of Florida Weeklies on racked all around town. That's, and, that's a, I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah. That's a great asset for people to use. I mean, even if you have been here, I've been here for two years and I'm still finding things and like, huh. I didn't know that was I've here. I've been here at 19, and I also have found a couple of things in this You want to go meet edition. animals? Go to the Peace River Wildlife Center. Uh, right there. Yeah. All kinds of stuff in here. So. <laughs> so that's a great pullout, and it's got some weight to it. I mean, you guys put a lot of work in that. This is a This is a keeper. Bring it, put it on your, wherever you put stuff. That right you there on the coffee table. Coffee table. Arts and entertainment section. Men playing women, women playing men. What's going on at Gulf Shore Playhouse? Pretty exciting things. Now, if you're familiar with a uh, funny thing happened on the way to the Forum, you'll know it opened in back in 1962, kind of different times. It's when Zod's of Tony's. And now it's getting kind of a 2018 twist to these characters. Like you said, some men are playing mo women, women playing men. It makes for an all too interesting uh, take on some of the remarks, which may have seemed too racy or even sexist back when it first opened up. Check out these and, and fun things, places to see them at uh, Gulf Shore Playhouse. Else. And topics is one of our favorite sections, and one of them I noticed is John Tesh. Little tidbit there, our very own Jason Dunning is going to be at that event. Oh, really? He did not. So oh. maybe <laughs> that's the draw, not John Tesh, but, but Jason, Jason Dunning. Dunning. Okay. <laughs> yeah, some people may rather go see Jason Dunning, but a lot of people, of course, are going to go see uh, John Tesh. And if, you, if you're not a big fan of John Tesh, that's fine, too. Shame on you. Shame on you. You should be. Uh, <laughs> but there's other things to do, actually. Uh, while John Tesh is in town, you could also pick up Sister Hazel is in town. Uh, Mannheim uh, Steamroller, if you're enjoying uh, getting ready for the uh, these uh, Christmas music. Elf the Musical, Sheena Brooke, and much, much more. Not sure what to do. Remember the jingle for the NBA back in the day? John Tesh composed that. Yeah, there's your John Tesh knowledge. There we go. He's done a lot. Don't underestimate John Tesh. You're the best. You're the best, Chad Oliver. Thanks for coming in. Sounds good. Good to be here. See you. You'll be here next week. Be here next week. Okay.